Hello! Welcome to Rising Sunshine's Key Drama Reviews. Today I'm talking about the drama that was airing from March until May of 2011 on SBS. It was 20 episodes long and the name of the drama is 49 Days. 49 Days uh, has an awesome cast consisting of EO1, uh, who did amazing job in this drama. Also, we have Nam Kyuri, Jo Hyun Jae, Bae Soo Bin, Jung Gil Woo, and So Ji Hye. I actually started watching this drama because of Jung Gil Woo. I absolutely love him and he was excellent, great, uh, excellent here as well. So basically him and Eo Won were my favorite uh, people here. They did an amazing job with their acting and uh, putting um, into life uh, those characters characters. His character is quite interesting. Uh, she actually, well, she actually plays two characters. The story is the second uh, reason why I decided to watch this drama. It is a very interesting story. We have a girl who has something like a perfect life. Uh, at least on the outside it looks like it and actually she believes that it's a perfect life as well but under the surface we find out that it's not like it's not exactly like that but that comes like uh, later on so basically uh, she has a perfect life she has a great uh, loving family great friends uh, she's surrounded with a lot of people she's very popular she's absolutely gorgeous uh, she's very nice everyone loves her uh, she's very polite and uh, caring and loving and everything like she is miss perfect uh, basically, uh, she uh, is engaged and uh, she is about to get married soon. So yeah, she's very happy and everything. That's one main girl. The second main girl is completely opposite. Uh, she leads a pretty miserable life. Uh, she's uh, poor. She works... Um, uh, in the convenience store during nights and during the day she usually sleeps and she is very very unhappy very alone and she often thinks of suicide so basically we have those two opposites uh, and then something happens uh, the girl who is unhappy uh, tries to commit suicide but she's being saved and she survives and uh, at the same time we have our <clears throat> happy happy girl uh, getting into a car accident and ending up in a coma uh, and her spirit actually meets an angel called the, the scheduler um, he's actually a reaper and um, he offers a deal to her, so um, he tells her that she has 49 days during which she should uh, find three people aside from her family who truly loves her and who truly uh, cries uh, over her destiny or her situation. So uh, she is supposed to collect three tears from three people who are not her family, who care about her so deeply and she has to do it in 49 days. So basically she uh, finds this other girl, she has some special connection to her, uh, later on we will find out how they are connected, but um, yeah, she actually uses her body during those 49 days, so basically like half a day uh, the body uh, belongs to one girl, while the other half a day the body belongs to the other girl. That uh, fantasy moment is basically basically the only uh, not realistic thing about this drama. This drama is actually a melodrama and as I already said a couple of times before, I am not a big fan of melodramas as a genre, uh, but I actually must admit that uh, this one is 
perhaps a little bit different from other melodramas. It has um, this one also has a little bit of uh, comedy in it, and uh, of course romance is very important here. But the most important thing about this drama is basically the relationships between uh, the main characters and the supporting characters, but also uh, maybe the most important relationship in, uh, in this drama is actually the relationship between those two girls. This drama actually gives out somewhat of a bittersweet vibe. At least I got that kind of vibe from this drama and it is actually very very touching. Um, this drama actually talks about the importance of living life to the fullest, uh, taking everything life can uh, give to you, working on it, uh, living today, uh, making sure to spend quality time with the people that you deserve it, to, to, uh, with the people that you love and that love you and, you know, just living life uh, and not leaving any regrets behind yourself. It is a melodrama, but it's not pathetic at all. Uh, it is just very, very touching and even a little bit soothing. I don't know, it, it had somewhat of a soothing effect to me. I really liked the relationship between the two main girls sharing the same body, uh, understanding each other, getting to know each other throughout the drama and just feeling everything together. The actors here were good. Some of them were absolutely amazing, were really, really good. So I would say that uh, Io, Won, uh, Io Won and uh, Jang Yoo Lu were excellent in this. Jang Yoo Lu goes from being totally dorky, totally like comedy relief, uh, all the way to being uh, very uh, sullen, let's say, uh, very, uh, I don't know, tear jerking, <laughs> like you feel him very very well. He did a good job of portraying this character. He actually portrays character of a scheduler which is very important and very interesting because he is basically an angel but he has his own feelings and his own involvement in this story which I won't uh, tell anything about because that would be a huge spoiler. So no, I am stopping here. Um, the rest of the cast, uh, they were not amazing, but they were very good, so I don't have any complaints about actors here. Music in this drama was also very nice. Uh, there are better uh, official soundtracks, like uh, some other dramas have uh, more popular soundtracks, but I actually found soundtrack of this drama quite nice. So yeah, all together this whole package, this whole drama, 49 days, uh, was very very good. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. I would actually like to maybe watch it again after after some uh, more time passes, maybe I feel like I would like to relive those um, emotions that I got from this drama. I kind of want to get into them again and that actually means a lot. So yes, uh, it is ranking time and I am giving 49 days a 9 out of 10. This was my review of 49 days. If you watched it, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you didn't watch it yet, please go and watch it. I am recommending this one, especially if you like melodramas that are not so dramatic as usual melodramas are. So, romance and meaning of life all put together, go and watch it. I uh, warmly recommend it and it is one very warm drama. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you again in a couple of days with another K-drama review. Thank you, bye!